It's hard to believe that after decades of waiting, Sonic fans worldwide will soon see a major Hollywood adaptation of the franchise. With just over three weeks to go before the film releases, the marketing hype train has well and truly left the station. Billboards, TV, and even a new range of posters, they're really trying to get the word out. But one very unique marketing stunt is currently happening right now in the United Kingdom, in the city of London. It turns out that somewhere in the busy streets of the UK capital, there is in fact a Sonic themed movie bus driving around. Let's go find it. But first, let's go into a bit of background information as to exactly what's going on here. On January 19th, Cliff Duncan posted an image to Facebook which appeared to show a London bus being redecorated. Despite being unfinished, it was clear that the bus would be advertising the Sonic movie. The clear image of the Sonic movie logo, as well as the release date and even one of Robotnik's badniks on the side, it was a quite a neat little find. Then one day later, on January 20th, Twitter user JPhoenix posted a second image of the bus that had been taken from the previous night. This time, the image showed the other side of the bus, and the bus was actually on the streets of London, collecting passengers on a scheduled route. There were no other photos and no other sightings of any similarly decorated buses from any other city in the UK. It seems that since the 19th of January, this Sonic movie bus was exclusive to the streets of London. And guess where I happen to be right now? Yeah, I'm actually down here in London at the minute. Now, I'm not here for um, this bus that's driving around, it just happens to be an amazing coincidence. I'm actually here for London Toy Fair and I'm going to be visiting it tomorrow. But yeah, apparently somewhere in London there is a Sonic movie bus that is driving around. So if I happen to see it, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and take some um, photos and video of it. But yeah, I'm not sure how many of them there are, so... Who knows how easy or hard this is going to be, and I'm just going to sort of show you that, yeah, I am actually in a hotel room at the minute in London. So anyway, um, yeah, here's hoping I find something. So whilst I was extremely curious, and I really wanted to go and try and find this mystery bus, I did have some commitments that I wanted to do first. Like I said, I was down in London for London Toy Fair, not to look for this bus. It was just an amazing coincidence that I happened to be there when I found out about it. In fact, I didn't even know the bus existed until I was halfway to London on the train. After I checked into my hotel, I would arranged to meet up with a friend of mine at a video game themed bar. And we had some fun trying to play the Sonic Crash Course board game whilst under the influence of beer. Eventually, we gave up and we just used the pieces to redesign the Green Hill Zone. Check out all those boost pads. When the bar closed and we said our goodbyes, I decided to return to my hotel. It was quite late at night, and as I stepped outside of King's Cross Station, I was waiting to cross the road, when all of a sudden, from around the corner, the Sonic movie bus was driving right down the street. I was completely unprepared for this. I very quickly got my phone out my pocket, got the camera working, and just managed to snap a very brief glimpse of the bus. So I then recorded a short piece to camera to explain exactly what happened. Hey guys, so I just came off a, into a small side street, which is a little bit quieter, because obviously I'm in the middle of London and I don't want to be filming out too long, too late, because it's very, very late at night right now. Um, I just been at a bar with my friend and it's quite late on the night right now and I came out of King's Cross Station, crossed the road and then all of a sudden from around the corner the, the Sonic movie bus drove by and by the time I realised what was going on, what it was, I took out my phone, opened up the phone app, the bus had passed me and was hurtling down the road. So I quickly snapped the picture that you've just seen and now that I know that the bus actually does pass very close to where I'm actually staying, I think there's a very good chance I can get some video of it. So I'm going to go now because it's very late and I'm very, very hungry because I haven't eaten yet. So hopefully we're going to get some good footage of this. So I'll see you in just a moment. 
But from this encounter, I realised that the bus was indeed real and it was still in service. Not only that, its route actually took it within a two minute walking distance of where I was staying. But the issue was, the first thing I had to do the next day was head to Toy Fair. I didn't have time to really spend the morning searching for the bus. So the very next day, I left my hotel and went back to King's Cross Station for the underground when this happened. Hey guys, so um, what just happened is pretty much the same thing that happened last night. Um, I'm literally on my way to Toy Fair this morning and I turned a corner to go to King's Cross Station and there was the Sonic Movie bus just leaving a bus stop. So I quickly got my phone out of my pocket and ran down the street and got held up at some traffic lights. So I pulled out my phone and filmed whatever I could. But yeah, um, I'm going to come back tonight. And since we've sort of caught it just two days in a row now, I think we might be able to find it now. I've, I've got a feeling it might not be as hard as I think it is. So fingers crossed. Let, let's try it and see if we can actually get some luck this time. So um, I'll be back this afternoon and this evening, I guess. Until then. So once again, completely unexpectedly, I had another encounter with the bus, and it managed to elude me. But after I visited Toy Fair, I decided to see if I could figure out where the bus was actually going, what the route was, and where the best place would be to spot it. And if anybody watching this video decides they want to try and find this bus, this information should be of some use to you. Each time that I'd seen the bus, it was always the same routes number, route number 91. Which is a nice touch, because 91 is short for 1991, which happens to be the year that the first Sonic game was released. Kudos. The bus route takes it between Trafalgar Square and Crouch End, and according to several Journey Planner sites, depending on the time of day, it takes between 45 minutes to just over an hour for the bus to get from one end of its route to the other. Potentially a two hour round trip. So I decided that the best way to try and spot it would be just to go back to King's Cross Station, since both routes could be seen quite clearly from this location, and both routes had stops right next to the station itself, it seemed like a very good spot to wait and try and catch it. And in terms of regularity, typically a number 91 bus turns up here every 6 to 10 minutes. I believe that it wouldn't be too long before I saw at least one of these buses with the Sonic theming, and this is when I discovered this was actually going to be a much harder task than I thought. You see, it seems that the entire London bus fleet is strictly decorated with a specific design, red with a black stripe and a space for a banner advertisement along the side. As you can see in these video clips, every single number 91 bus that drove past was a standard normal London bus. None of them were the Sonic themed one. After waiting for nearly half an hour, it became apparent that in London, there are over 8,500 buses on the streets every day. And out of 8,500 buses, only one of them had the movie Sonic theming on it. And there was no way to track where that bus was at any specific time. In fact, I quickly worked out that depending on where you waited for the bus, you could be waiting for up to two hours just to catch sight of it. And that is even if the bus was actually running at that point at all. Now, since I was becoming very tired from being at Toy Fair all morning, I decided to go back to my room for a bit of a break and then head back out sometime later. And as the sun set, I found myself outside of King's Cross train station once again. And out of the darkness, it emerged. That looks absolutely So the Sonic bus just drove past me. I'm going to see if I can quickly catch up to it. <laughs> think that buses are slow and easy to spot, but this thing was travelling so fast that I almost missed it. But 
just look at it. Even at night, it looks really incredible. So let's take a look at that decoration. The front of the bus has the Sonic Movie logo on the upper deck. And I could be wrong, but it almost looks like it's painted with reflective paint, since it seems to reflect the light and almost gives this glow-in-the-dark kind of sense about it. Otherwise, the front is blue with lightning strikes all over it. The left side of the bus features several golden rings, with Sonic relaxing in one, right next to the Sonic Movie logo. And there's also the release date for the film. And the colour scheme changes to the traditional red which all London buses have, but there's several badniks which are also flying around. The back of the bus features another Movie Sonic logo and several badniks, as well as artwork from the main movie poster which is being used to advertise the film at most cinemas. Now if we take a look at the photo which was posted earlier, and the brief glimpse that I got of the bus earlier in the day, we can also make out that the right side of the bus features a large Sonic and Robotnik mural, in which it looks like they're facing off against each other, with the phrase, CHILLIN versus VILLAIN, and another Sonic movie logo, as well as release date, and LOTS, and LOTS, of badniks and lightning bolts. It really is an amazingly cool and very well decorated bus, especially since the majority of the London buses are not advertised like this. It really does stand out and look incredible even in motion. So some of you are wondering, why didn't I actually get on the bus? Well you see, I had planned to. In the clip where I actually run to the bus stop, I did intend to board it. But when I got to the bus and I saw that the interior wasn't decorated in any way, I didn't really think that there was much point. Plus, I didn't want to make any passengers awkward if all of a sudden I started pulling out a camera and was talking and commentating and filming people that didn't want to be filmed. It was mainly an advert for those outside of the bus, not those riding on it. And after the bus pulled away into the night, I couldn't really afford to wait for the bus to return. And with the following day being the day I travelled home, I assumed I wouldn't get any more footage. But in what was becoming a bit of a trend for me on this trip, as I headed home to King's Cross Station, the bus appeared out of nowhere, again. But this time, I was ready for it. So I hope you've enjoyed this little look at the Sonic movie themed bus that's driving around London at the moment. It really is an incredible sight to see and I couldn't help but smile as I saw it. It really did look amazing and I'm just so surprised and amazed that I happened to be in London when it was driving around. I genuinely was not in London for this. I was there for Toy Fair and I couldn't believe it when I happened to see that this thing was actually driving around. So if you happen to be in London and you want to see this movie Sonic themed bus, I really do wish you the best of luck. Because you'll either be waiting a long time to spot it, or you'll have to be very lucky like I was. It seems quite fitting that one of the slogans for this movie is CATCH SONIC! And in this case, they're not kidding, you literally have to catch Sonic. So let me know your thoughts on this. Me personally, I think it's great that the movie is getting such a positive push in terms of marketing, and they're really going all out with it. I also really do love the look of the bus, and I really do have to congratulate them for the fact that they picked Route 91, which is the year the first game came out, instead of just picking a random number which didn't have any significance. So is anybody out there planning a trip to London, and planning to go look for this bus? And has anyone watching this video actually boarded it? Let me know in the comments about what you thought of it, and let me know if you see any other pictures or video of the bus, especially the right hand side, because I'd love to see some clearer images of the robot Botnik and Sonic Mural. See you next time! Hey guys, just wanted to thank you all for checking out the video. Please smash that like button if you think the bus looks pretty cool, and click the subscribe and bell notification button. Just wanted to give a huge thank you to my kind Patreon supporters who help keep this channel going. And they are GKid64, Graham Hall, Kenny Newbury, Mark Davis, Mavis Evenson, Mr. Retro Geek, Nemand, Rusty Coolpix, Stalin Usher 2, Stephen Temple, The Wax, and Tybutt Renux. 
If you'd like to join those awesome people and receive early access to my videos, as well as other thank you and reward perks, please check out the links in the video description. Otherwise, please share the video on Twitter and any appropriate Facebook groups and Reddit, which is also a huge help. And if you'd like to continue the adventures, please follow me on Twitter, where I post additional updates. But most of all, just thank you for taking the time out to enjoy the work I do. It really does mean the world to me. Thank you. I'm going to see if I can quickly catch up to it.